In this video I will show you how to edit your gaming videos like Rook FF in Filmora 13, like this. Alright, let's do this. I've got a sample video ready in the media folder. First drag it to the timeline. Move the playhead to the spot where the video has that jump effect. Add a marker here. Then take a snapshot at this jump point. Drag it to the timeline. Split the video at the marker and drag the second part a bit further along the timeline. Now, duplicate the snapshot and place it on the top track. Select the one on top and use the AI portrait tool to remove the background. Disable the snapshot on the lower track. If it doesn't work, turn off the AI portrait tool. Instead, with the picture selected, go to the smart cutout tool. Zoom in and adjust the brush size. Then brush over the character to select the area. Hit save to remove the background. Next, re-enable the lower track snapshot to enable or disable any clip, right click on it and select enable clip or disable clip. Create an opacity animation at the start and end of the bottom track image to get a fade in and fade out effect. For the end animation, simply copy the start keyframes. Paste them at the end. And swap their positions. Finally, duplicate the snapshot twice and place these duplicates on tracks above the original. Adjust their positions to create a clone effect. Now, let's move on to the effects. Head over to the effects tab and search for the Neon Ring 6 effect. Drag and drop it onto the leftmost of the three pictures. Next, drag and drop the Neon Ring 7 effect onto the middle picture. Finally, apply the Neon Ring 6 effect to the right picture by dragging and dropping it. After that, find the Glow Outline effect and apply it to all three clone pictures. To adjust the Glow Outline effect settings, double-click on each picture. In the Effects panel, set the size to 2.5 and the frequency to 0. Apply these same settings to the other two pictures as well. Add markers to the timeline at the start and end, aligned with the opacity keyframes. Then, add keyframes to the left and right pictures according to these markers. Animate them like this. For the end animation, simply copy the start keyframes. Paste them at the end. And swap their positions.
Curve all the keyframes in the keyframe panel to make the animation smoother. Next, go back to the Effects tab and search for the Plexus Particles effect. Apply this effect to the bottommost background picture on the timeline by dragging and dropping it. Then, search for the Glow Shadow effect and apply it to the three clone pictures. For the final touch select all these pictures right click and choose compound clip. Name your compound clip whatever you like and click OK to create it. Now, add two transform keyframes to the start and end of this compound clip. And one keyframe in the middle. Zoom in on the video position to about 120% at the middle keyframe. Select all the keyframes and curve them for a smoother animation. And there you have it, your Rook FF effect is ready! That's it gamers, with these simple steps, you're now on your way to creating fire free fire edits just like Rook FF. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome editing tutorials to help you create next level content. Keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care!